Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show you how to share a flight between instructor and student. I'm going to start with a fresh logbook for both the instructor and the student. As the instructor, I'll start by ensuring my record has my full name. Tap on People, and we'll change the self entry to my name, in this case, Maverick. And I can also add a picture and any other details if desired. It's also very important that This Is Me is set to On. Now I can share this record with my student via iMessage, email, or AirDrop. I'll use AirDrop and the shared record lands in the student's logbook. Note that the This Is Me automatically turns off when it lands in the student's logbook. I'll then have the student do the same thing and share their person record with me. Now that we have the correct people records in our logbook for each other, let's share a flight. As the instructor, I'll work with the student to ensure they log all the details of the flight correctly. You can see here that I've worked with a student to log a flight around Portland in their logbook. It's important that the student and instructor crew fields are added to both the student's and the instructor's logbook. To do this, we tap the Actions button in the top right, then Configure Fields, then Configure Section in the Crew section, and then I'll add the instructor and student fields and populate them with the respective names. Notice that the dual receive time field is populated with the total time of one hour. One thing to check is that takeoffs and landings are completed correctly. If they need to be applied in the student's logbook because they made the takeoffs and landings, make sure the PIC field is filled in for the student and the takeoffs and landings are filled in by the student before sending to the instructor. Now I'll have the student share the flight record with me via AirDrop. Notice that when the flight populates, dual received has switched to dual given. The instructor can check takeoffs and landings are correct for the student and then remove them from the flight to ensure their own logbook will be correct before signing and sending back to the student. This will remove takeoffs and landings from the instructor logbook while maintaining them in the student logbook after the flight has been shared. I can now sign the flight and send it back to the student. You can see that the flight contains all the data the student logged initially, including their takeoffs and landings, and it is now locked and cannot be changed without another signature. Done. Of course, if you have any questions regarding sharing flights between student and instructor, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team by tapping Contact Support in the help menu under the account section. Thanks for watching.